the Sufjan Stevens song we did in the album called Sears Tower. When Ben and I were throwing songs around, we were referencing nearly all old songs, and then I suddenly threw in like the idea of doing a modern cover, and he said, is this going to sit right with the album? And I went, well, it's hardly like a, a hit Sufjan Stevens song, Sears Tower. It's kind of buried at the very back of the Come and Feel the Illinois album, but for some reason, it's always been something that's really resonated with me. That song, to me, is, is unbelievably beautiful, the melody, but it's got the angriest, saddest lyrics I think I've ever heard. Um, and I love that juxtaposition, so I thought I'd, I'd love to try it. We were also talking about doing a, a Nina Simone song called The Ballad of Hollis Brown, which is a Bob Dylan song, and Nina Simone does this amazing kind of tribal version, which is full of rhythm and, you know, that kind of typical kind of grit and unrelentingness that she does. You know, I, I said that Hollis Brown was, was great, but I didn't know how I would sing about that because it just seems apart from who I am, and I, I, it's not going to be very truthful. And he agreed, and he said, well, why don't we mix up Hollis Brown, the riff and the feel, with Sears Tower and see if we can put them together. And we got in the studio, and that's exactly what we did. In the tower above the earth, we built it for we recorded it and we were like, well, we don't know what it's going to be. We recorded it completely live um, and we put it away and then we listened to it two days later and we're like, oh, this is this has come out nice. And then Rian wrote a string arrangement for it afterwards which referenced the original Sufjan Stevens version, the kind of descending uh, string line. Still I go to the deepest grave Where I go to sleep alone